How to bring a change? Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com. Bringing difference in the form of a material is called a change. There are various ways for bringing a change. Here, in this video, we will learn some of the ways. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn for Tuffet Android app. Download the app now. Force Any push or pull is called force. In many ways, force can bring a change. For example, force can start or stop the motion of object. It can change the speed of object. It can change the direction of the object. Also, it can change the shape of the object. Temperature It is the measure of how hot or cold an object is. In many ways, Temperature can also bring a change. For example, temperature can change the state of the object. For example, with increasing temperature, ice, which is in solid state, gets converted into water, which is liquid state. If we further increase the temperature of water, then it gets converted to gaseous state, that is, water vapors. Similarly, with reduction in temperature, vapor get converted into water and then to ice. That is, state changes from gaseous state to liquid state and then to solid state. Temperature also causes change in shape of object. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn for Tuffet Android app. Download the app now. For example, heating an object like metal causes it to expand, while reducing the temperature causes it to shrink. By increasing temperature, it is possible to give a desired shape to a material. Mixing and chemical change. When we mix two or more substances, it causes change in properties of the resulting mixture. For example, sugar or salt when mixed in water makes water salty or sweet respectively. Such changes can be reversed. Many times when we mix two or more substances, we get a permanent change or we say irreversible change. For example, putting a drop of lemon juice in milk produces curd, which cannot be reversed. Such a change is called chemical change. In science, we call it as a chemical reaction. During chemical reaction, there is formation of new substance, which have its own properties. Basically, a chemical change causes change in temperature, color, odor, Formation of bubbles, formation of precipitate, that is, solid material which settles at the bottom of liquid mixture. In general, it causes formation of different product with properties different from properties of substance which are mixed. So, I hope you have understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfordafford.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfordafford.com.